I'm Anthony from bestbluesguitarlessonsonline.com and in this video we will talk about the toggle switch in particular and how we can use the tone knobs. And I've seen it happen numerous times, people buy guitars and they come from the shops but of course you don't know anything and you need to learn to, uh, how to make use of everything uh, on the guitar and you need to learn all your scales and chords. But at the same time, people don't know how to use this and it's not because people are playing for five or ten years even that they really know how to make the best use of the toggle switch. And this is a shame because we can use it for a lot of uh, great things. So when we are using the toggle switch, we are switching between pickups. So another name of the toggle switch is the pickup selector. So we're basically um, selecting pickups when we're um, switching from one position to the next. So for instance, this position is actually the neck pickup we're using. So of course the pickup, as you probably know, it's used to make the sound of the guitar uh, transfer into an electric electric signal. So for instance, when we're playing here with the neck pickup, we have a totally different sound than if we're selecting, for instance, the bridge pickup. And I'll let you hear the difference on this guitar. It sounds, uh, the neck pickup sounds like this. And the bridge pickup sounds like this. So it's a much sharper sound and then of course we have this pickup as well in the middle and uh, it's not that sharp and it's not that warm uh, either, it's not that soft of a sound here. If you compare it with this one or this one, it's somewhere in the middle. And then we have also here I have uh, one, two, three, four, five way switch. So in the middle uh, positions, we can also go one back down towards the neck pickup position. And we have um, these two pickups um, being switched on at the same time, which gives it a bit more defined sound if you compare it to the warm sound of the neck pickup only. So for instance, here we have this compared with the neck pickup or the middle pickup and then we have the same thing over here when we're using the middle pickup we can also switch one uh, more towards the bridge pickup where we have this these two being switched on so it's a bit sharper than the middle pickup but it's not as sharp of a sound than the bridge pickup this is the bridge pickup This is one back door. So what use is the toggle switch? Well, we can use it for a lot of things. So for instance, if you're having a song and we want to have a more sharper defined song, we of course uh, use the bridge pickup. And it's used by a lot of rock players if you're playing here down on the neck, if you're playing riffs, for instance. And blues guitar playing, a lot of riffs can be actually played using the neck pickup because a lot of blues guitar players are just into that warm, undefined, uh, bit of wobbly, wobbly sound of the neck pickup. <laughs> Of course, this is really undefined as sound. It uh, lacks a bit of a sharp edge. That's why we can go one back in that direction, which gives it that sound if we're riffing over here. But a lot of rock guitarists, they prefer the bridge pickup. For instance, if we're playing power chord, because it gives a more proactive, really metalish sound. I'm not referring to the style metal, of course, but to the material of the bridge, and that's the way you can um, you can adjust your own thinking if you 
look at the bridge, it's metal, so it sounds very metalish. And then the warmth of the neck of the wood is very uh, is a warm sound. So that's the way I think about uh, these two um, these two pickups selections. So um, when we're playing guitar solos, we don't want to be uh, stuck. We don't want to stay stuck in one position all the all the way through. We can do that, of course. But a lot of great guitarists they use the toggle switch to switch from one position to the next. For instance, um, if we're using the bridge pickup and we're playing high notes, you will hear it. It sounds really high, and it, uh, it is a bit of a too much treble-ish sound. So that's why we um, a lot of times use the neck pickup when soloing over here. But when played over here again, I switched back to the bridge pickup. So this is something that a lot of guitarists use when they play lower on the neck. They use the um, the bridge pickup because they want a more defined sound, a bit more sharp or edgy sound. When playing uh, higher on the neck, they use the neck pickup because they don't want to get the really um, high sound with uh, with the high notes. <laughs> Of course we can change to middle positions or in between positions and experiment with these. Of course we have the tone knobs here as well so we can use the tone knobs to further get uh, more of a color play in our playing so we have more choices and more options so for instance this tone knob is used to really um, drive this pickup uh, the neck pickup so you can hear it when I'm playing the neck pickup when I drive uh, the tone knob all the way down it loses all edge even in this position where there's not much of an edge to the sound it's really becoming um, a very undefined sound and most of the time we won't drive this tone knob all the way down but we can drive it a bit down if you want um, and then the same thing with the bridge pickup. If we drive it all the way down, we get this sound, so it's less defined, less sharp of a sound. And of course, it's great if you want to play using the bridge pickup, but we don't like the really sharp razor blade edge that it uh, has with it. So we can drive it a bit down. So it doesn't sound. So this is it. I hope you have a lot of uh, fun experimenting with this. Let me know in the comment what you think and also what your favorite uh, position of the toggle switch is and um, if you have questions you're always very welcome to ask them here uh, on the youtube channel also like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't done this before so we can make much more videos and this is well appreciated also on my website bestbluesguitarlessonsonline.com you can find a lot of resources that are totally free 
uh, for download, for instance, a blues guitar ebook on the topic of um, how to better your blues guitar solos and play more advanced solos. So I would uh, recommend you to download this so you can read everything in the comfort of your own home and uh, try out the exercises and learn uh, how to improve your blues guitar playing there. Thank you for watching this video and see you in the next one.